the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Okay, I read this, so I'm not going to go in it. So she retweeted Ian thing, and I came from that already. That was the first tweet. Again, we see that everything Megan and Harry stated to Oprah was factual. Royal family lie and brief the press to control the narrative about Harry and his wife's tension. All right, let's see here. I keep telling people that the OVW what, uh, interview, I guess. All right. I keep telling people that the Oprah interview was an insurance policy in case anything happened. They then I'm telling you every everything that some of the squad are saying it's true. Even some of the things that I've been saying, sometimes it's ridiculous how close I am to some of the things that I say. It's not like we have uh, a freaking crystal ball in our hand. We see the intention. Oh, I don't know if it's Princess Diana who's getting into all of us to say protect, protect my son, protect my son. He's in danger. He's in danger. I'm thinking, um, why is it ghost with uh, Whoopi Goldberg? Molly, you in danger, girl. Molly, you in danger, girl. That's the thing. So Princess Diana is getting in everybody's soul and spirit to pretty much warn his son. Maybe there's certain things Harry and Megan are not seeing and telling us warn him. I, I don't know. <sighs> My blood just like shivered right now. 
Okay, I keep telling people that the OPPO interview was an insurance policy in case anything happened. They didn't want the royal family to leak controlling the narrative like when Harry and Meghan couldn't rebuke what the royal family women did through uh, their sources. Uh, how many times a day, week, month do we witness what Harry and Meghan said happening? That is true. And then this is why they're sending their mouthpieces saying, uh, as if people's mind is completely blocked from why they did the uh, Oprah interview. All right? They kept Megan over there. She couldn't talk. She couldn't do that. And then they will not uh, defend her and all of that. So as soon as she got out of there, she had to tell her truth because all the stuff where they were saying about her on the tabloid is detrimental. And that woman who come out, oh my God, this and that. And she knows very well how the untruth the lies spread like wildfire the minute that they put it out. But as soon as uh, uh, the truth come out, it died down. Look how about the bullying investigation. All of a sudden, oh, we're not making it public. But when it first came out, it was spreading like wildfire. Okay, the queen chose who she wanted to represent her on the security request. But heavy thinks it should have not been that person. Is he saying the queen should only use those that her grandson chose it nah nah that's certain uh protocol that happened uh that certain things need to be happening but for some reason in this aspect it shift it completely shift that yeah nah. but anyway let's see here how do you know the queen chose that person that being said if heavy and that person were having tension do you honestly believe that edward young made that decision from a position of fairness further legally he was supposed to be protect, protected because of his birth. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Okay, the queen chooses her private secretary. No, th there was one article that I came across. I've shared that with you. I don't know if I still have it. It's the one where I think Andrew, that was a way back before Megan got into the picture. Way back. Andrew and Charles wanted certain things out of, from the queen. Okay, because that particular secretary of the queen uh feel like they should not get whatever it is that they wanted i don't remember what it was okay and then because charles and andrew were not getting what they want they teamed together to vote this particular secretary out okay so they put someone in place to be the queen secretary i think that's almost the same thing that happened here to put the queen, uh, they changed the queen secretary. Uh, in other words, there was a vote. All right, there was a vote. Before that, the, there was no stupid things that we hear going on, you know, overshadowing this, overshadowing that. None of this nonsense were coming out. It was business, 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 from my understanding. But once Charles and uh, Andrew and the, you know, I think there's other people involved, voted to remove that secretary of the queen and they play, they put someone that they wanted who will be like a yes sir, yes sir to them. Okay, that's when everything go haywire. And I think almost the same thing happened here. I've shared that in some old videos before and I think that's the same thing just happened here. And then with that being said, okay, as I said what I just said here where that had happened before, because the royal family is trapped some of the things that andrew got himself involved it was to trap him i've been saying this a long time ago now in order to put this guy in the position that he's in they probably someone some group who trapped andrew probably put a word in somewhere in my freaking opinion i wasn't there i do not know what goes in over there this is my opinion here all right they forced him to do the same thing here to put this guy in this position. N Remember how I said where, uh, what is it? Princess Diana chose Megan to, uh, to be the perfect woman for Harry and, uh, and uh, what's the other brother? Oh my God, all those people, I'm not remember. Harry's brother, okay? The blood brother, all right? Because uh, Megan was so versatile. She knows people who know someone who knows someone because she was in the media and all of that. And she had her tig. She was on IG, you know, talked to her friend and all of that. So she was the perfect human being that the firm could have got to help the other brother 
I can't freaking believe this. I cannot remember his name. So there's probably a reason for that. Okay. So I'm not going to force my brain to remember the name. The blood brother. Harry's blood brother. Okay. Oh my God. This is crazy. All right. So uh, Megan was sent there to help both brothers. And Harry saw it. The other brother did not. Okay. So instead the brother bring in. Uh, how do you call this? Bring in uh, politician to be in there. So pretty much politician was already infested in this and in, in the institution. They should not never been mixed. Politician should never be working within the royal family because this is why we seeing chaos in there. This is why they doing that. It was purposely. Okay. And remember the goal, the objective for this chaos the army the army is the objective here okay so by okay to put the chain of stuff here connecting from things that has been made public because andrew and charles team up together before before megan got into the picture all right to change the queen's secretary i think is the same event that happened here to put this guy there and now this guy went to work to disturb the institution, remove the smartest man in the institution, which was Harry. They wanted to eliminate him, all right, because Harry was the only person who was so close to the queen who could tell the queen this decision is wrong. So they got rid of him. I've said this before, so now everything is coming into play. Harry was too good of a person. Uh, with his head on his shoulder he understand the position that his family has the power his family has and he was too close to all of the future future futures and the current monarch and he could easily go directly to them and tell the queen no don't make that decision don't do that don't do that but instead they got rid of them and they were gonna eliminate him completely okay so when that uh, now i'm moving to another event that i'm aware of when Harry and the Queen made their plan to meet, and then when Harry was about to go and meet the Queen, and then they were aware of Harry meeting the Queen, they completely changed the Queen's schedule, and then all of a sudden the Queen said, Oh, I forgot, I can do this, I can do that. They did not want, and I've said this before when I first mentioned it, they did not want, uh, how would I say that? Harry to be too close to the Queen, to be the voice of reasoning. To the queen so they completely shift that when things could easily talk you know on the phone and all of that so they probably could have eardrop you know to say to know what's going on so as soon as secretaries get involved uh-uh this have to stop no 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 he's too close to the queen they don't want the voice of reasoning to the queen because heavy is uh oh my god he's one of those people i think one of the four people who could make uh decision for the queen all right so this is i went off i went off i don't remember what i just said but i went off all right let's read here okay the queen chooses her private secretary okay so that's what got me into thinking the chain of all of this stuff so they probably voted to get whatever uh, secretary that the queen had to put their own here and then it's through pressure by a third party that we have no face off who probably pressure them to do that because all of them are freaking trapped like harry said in the Oprah interview and i think right now they're holding the you know what let me stop now let me stop now because i don't know okay actually her son made that happen uh as harry stated it was inappropriate for a non-blood royal outside home office to make that decision as a blood royal and direct line of succession the law states that harry and his family should be protected are you saying he shouldn't hmm I'm saying the queen appointed her private secretary regardless of what you believe. Now, from whatever I read before, maybe the queen could, but they could override them. They could override the queen. And that has done before. Okay?
Prince Charles expected his butler to keep visits to Camilla a secret from the princess. Paul just turned around to him and said, well, are you expecting to be li to lie for you, your Royal Highness? And Prince Charles said, well, yes. Yes, I am. And went into this histrionics about being the King of England, the future King of England, the Prince of Wales, and you will lie, stamping his feet, and then threw this book in Paul's direction. Further, by stepping down as a senior member of the royal family, his level of security is guided by that. This is people who's trying to shift, uh, telling people something completely different. But no, okay, this is a decision he made. I'm not saying it was not the correct one, but there it is. Okay, it is an institution. It is an institution. So I'm sure there was a committee that shortlisted people for the private secretary position for the queen. Okay, mm -hmm. right now. And I remember in one video I said there will be a point in time where I think a lot of people are not going to trust anyone in position to make any uh, wise decision for the country where almost everyone is going to want, uh, almost everyone is going to want Harry to be the, the voice for them because Harry is the only one who think it's your character that matters most more for others than himself maybe that's why the other players came but we don't want death and that all right i think that they wanted to do a princess diana accident on harry and megan okay that's what prince harry said which is why he said he saw it happen to his mother and there is no way he's going to let what happened to his mom happen to his wife he isn't going to play that game all right like i was saying yeah they see them as chess pieces they don't really put any sentimental human feeling behind some of their decision Okay, exposing mumbles need to be perfect and allowing the, the lie that Megan made mumbles cry instead of the truth. Harry and Megan were tasked to shut up and take it. They decided to not do that. Exactly. Okay, just when you think the royal family can sink any lower, you find out they've got tons more shovels. Their minions are on the continuous dig, <laughs> dig duty and the hole just gets bigger and bigger. This is where they're trying to dismantle uh, the institution. This is what they're trying to do. In some way, I think it needed, needs to be done in some other way. I see a, a greater threat if that happened. But uh, the royal family is not being run by the royal family. That's what I see here. It's running by someone else, but they're just using them as a front. This is very scary. Okay, It's a mafia organization, and the head is the boss, I won't say. Okay raspberries let me be happy please <laughs> let me be happy please no we don't oh my god i said the entire truth should be told it's time enough to show you know the, the 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 institution over there don't like to say everything all at once they like to drip 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 like one of those videos said drip 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 and and each of the drip is used for something else okay so they don't like to reveal everything all at once but many of us the squad we are ready from Point, we already see based on their action we already see their final plan from a to z but for them majority of the people in the uk don't see anything in between they whatever they tell them from the beginning that's what they buy and they go run with it but the squad around the world when they put something out whatever the royal family or the institution whatever whichever way you think of it once they put something out the rest of the world already say uh, plan a b c d e up to z all right so that's that this is why they don't like to scribe royal okay royal the firm and mafia are like okay important they sat on the committee as foils so their masters want to take the blame while doing their masters uh, digging the end uh, they sit on the committee because what i see going on here this is also some of the things that I've said, where they have people in all of the places that they want. Okay? They're covering all of their bases. Okay? All of their bases. Ah. The one who just quit just popped up in my mind, but I don't want to say anything. I don't want to go into politics. They're covering all of their bases. They want to make sure they know everything of everything that's going on because they want control. Control, control is the key. And part of that control, the army, they really wanted that. So, so much more. Uh, let me stop.
<laughs> whatever I was thinking because when you don't have when you're reading between the lines it's hard to uh, receipt all right next tweet good there's no comment in there uh the royal family expect loyalty from the Sussexes, yet they refuse to show it in return they were leaking and lying about the Sussexes before they left and after they left which prompted the oprah interview exactly but yeah harry and megan should be the ones begging and apologizing mm -hmm. all right no comment here next tweet Okay, the folks at Kensington Palace allowed Jason Knopf to break an NDA to help a tabloid publisher against a senior royal. It's been, as we know, is that the Mail on Sunday had the ruling against them in February and they were then appealing it. So it was lawyers from the Mail on Sunday who would have approached Jason Knopf knowing that these emails and messages existed. Mm. That would have been the point. And unless, I mean, the most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate and clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. It's not just the staff guy. Mm hmm. All right, exactly. The staff don't do anything without the permission of the Queen, her heir Charles and his heir William, British monarchy, are afraid, dislike of family members that have more achievement, popularity, with, uh, relatable and have the okay, hot spa like Diana, her son, Harry and his wife, Megan. <laughs> I think um, Princess Diana, like I said, like the Princess Diana sent Megan over there to be a buffer for Harry and her boys too but one of them saw the light the other one did not but uh, Harry needed a, a tag team because uh, there was too much that was going on and things got even crazier when he chose the, the person he wants to marry okay and this is the thing too they put a front the facade like the perfect family they allowed uh, Harry to marry Megan, and then after they say yes, this is the two face of them, the sneaky, sneaky and snake aspect of them. After they told Harry yes, put a smile, okay, and then they went he behind his back, try to uh, stop the wedding, okay. And Harry probably saw between the line way before, and this is probably why they did the marriage privately before the actual thing for the public okay let's see here exactly only the heir to the throne should have popularity but the sussexes were so popular that they were jealous but the jealousy started even before the wedding they were always racist mm -hmm. royal family lie that uh, they welcome megan <laughs> that's for sure royal family lie that they welcome megan they can't wait to diana the sussexes okay betty uh, Betty too, cause her man and gray suit was overly involved too. She and innocent. I could understand that, and at the same time, I think they were keeping certain information from her. They were keeping certain information from her, and this is why they were preventing Harry from meeting the Queen face to face. So maybe Charles was right in certain aspect that they only whatever they tell them to do, they do it, and then at the same time, they trapping them as they guiding them with information decision that they should make where they should be thinking for themselves as well they didn't want the royal family to have a say on things or to think for themselves they wanted to control that so uh maybe they did keep the queen in the dark in my humble opinion i think so this is not to say she's innocent okay that's not saying she's innocent okay trust staff aren't saying or doing anything unless authorized by clarence publishing house <laughs> isn't that a book uh, publishing thing Ken, uh, Carrington Palace Gangster Grand Liz and uh, allegedly Andy I give Edwina a pass just cause okay I'm cracking up okay this is this is a big fact well family lie nope that's that yeah there's so much more to that and I think what happened with the institution the firm itself there was too much palace, uh, politician in there Okay, so they turned the royal household into pol politician. So what the, uh, the advice is that, like Harry said, I mean, Harry, so, Harry was too smart for them. All right, they were giving them bad advice. Harry said that in the point of view. All right, they turned the institution into politics. And many of them did not see that.
right they too stupid to not see that okay next tweet harry and megan were surrounded by snakes and vipers from all corners of the royal family institution they weren't safe at all that's the tea there's the guy which we went over and these two work for them and there's those two idiots here all right so there's me responding to that okay <laughs> i'm telling the, the the squad on twitter i've been known the image behind her is snakes i'm talking about this these snakes behind her here okay heavy and megan were not safe at all there's that video it has been done before a video i did and wow october 17 2020 and there's the link my best interpretation warning for the duke and duchess of sussex that's that video harry was the only brilliant royal in that family they had to do something and say okay trust the spiritual world let the blind see snakes there's the snakes huh? all right especially megan her friend were right when they said the british will destroy you okay i was just talking to my friend about that if only had she listened to her friend but she was in love and sometimes we walk into situations so blindly bless her again when megan said something like uh, she didn't know about the royal family uh, look at me like i said i knew of the royal family i knew of megan but i didn't follow them religiously to know all the shady stuff that was going in there all right so i think megan probably was one of those who you know the royal family probably exists but deep down every little you know royal thing she probably wasn't aware so once uh uh she met heavy and probably i don't know where they were privately seeing each other i think they saw the soul of each other so some of the things that megan was interested in harry was already involved megan was already involved and do them separately and then put them together so they could you know they see the connection here and i think that's probably diana's way of connecting her son to someone to a tag team pretty much all right so let's see here but she was in love and sometimes uh we work in situations so blindly shameless on them especially prince charles and prince william okay prince charles doesn't surprise me because he never raised them anyway when Di died the boys were either at boarding school that's true or with their handlers harry had mark dyer who raised him he went to his school sports event on royal tours when he when he did afghanistan mod was there for him oh okay i don't know anything about that okay so he has a good connection with him wow harry showed me uh charles knows here this is charles uh, certain angles of harry i see charles and harry there's them here so he was a father figure for him wow probably telling him look this is your position here understand it make good out of that position okay let's see here and they and they all linked to the Tories government. Ah, oh, I'm not surprised by that. I am surprised to know it, but it's not shocking. The kind of politics that was going within the institution, the royal family. So that makes sense. They will go down the drain together. Yeah, they want to destroy that. I'm telling you, I hope the UK people pay good attention with that. Because I think at some point, uh there's gonna be a huge reform in the uk there's gonna be a huge reform in the uk and they have to be very careful who's their next leader is gonna be because you don't want one person to be involved with the army to make certain decision all right could it be as heavy seem to believe that the sources the source of danger are the top courtiers who choose what tantrum of the world of the british royal family to encourage which heir to push to the next king Okay, neither of whom even knows what uh, executing a strategy means. Okay, West Katia and Tempak. I th think that you insult snakes and vipers that comparing them to those individuals. Nobody likes snakes or vipers. Yeah, even in the Metropolitan Police. Yep, thanks for uh, reminding me. I forgot about that. They all will pay one day. That's why.
let the blind see exactly i agree thank god they are not there what the f archie being born so fast to a wrench in their game that is true that is true they didn't expect them oh my god and then they not only that let's not forget what happened in the middle of the night okay they went to the next step i'm telling you the uh, princess diana's spirit is really there we need to keep on praying to our ancestors to protect this family because wow let's not forget what happened in the middle of the night and for those who are who are new in this channel i've said the thing that they were gonna blame it if that you know plan b were to be successful about archie they were gonna blame it on sid okay i don't know there's so many videos i have on that all right they were gonna blame it on sid sid is a kind of syndrome that happened to babies where there's no make, uh, medical explanation as to how the kid died in his sleep or something like that so they were gonna try to do something like that but thank god that spiritual world was working for them where one of them had to get up and check and see what happened where they had to get rid of that person all right so that's that all right they went to plan b after this okay archie being born so fast to a wrench in their game all right so once archie was born remember before Ar <laughs> that's plan a plan a pretend to be a good people all right to show the public that they are good people plan b okay after they say yes to the wedding they went to plan b all right plan b is try to stop the wedding from happening okay so they don't have a hand on it but harry and megan were in their little bubble they didn't get the memo especially harry okay he did his thing so now that harry nothing is gonna deter him all right look at they bring all sort of family to get involved so now that they did that the marriage happened so they went to their next plan the next plan is to isolate Megan, make her go crazy where Megan was at the point of uh, taking her own life. All right. She almost got to that point. But Princess Diana was like, my girl, no, you don't want my son to cry again for me like uh, he did for me. You're going to be there to support him. All right? That's not the way it goes, but that's my interpretation of it. It's not funny, but the way I turned that thing, it's like, uh, okay. So now they went to what plan is that? Now that Megan then take her life away, all right? Uh, they went to plan whatever. See, Megan is pregnant. Now they're trying to, you know, be suicidal and for the baby, or even a miscarriage as as well. That then happened. Now Archie is born. The next thing is is the said thing. Okay, try to physically do it, and it then happened. Princess Diana got involved wherever she was and make harry and megan get up go go check on archie and there and then they fire that person all right so they were not safe and they're still doing their plan they're going plan after plan plan after plan plan after plan with our players as well working where you know things we cannot see all right where our prayers will fill in the gap for us look at this when harry went to the unveiling okay something had happened where he came out and uh, he went to a meeting whatever it, uh, event he had escort when he come out of the meeting police were gone okay and before that i was praying in terms of you know for him to navigate i don't know because i was so afraid for him to go over there i freaking don't know why that was my feeling at that time and i start throwing prayers for uh, let the blind see or bring him back safely i don't know what praise i was saying at that time go back to some of my videos and then later on out of something completely different we find out that you know he was being chased okay so he was being chased and once i found out that he was being chased what did i say i remember saying something like thank god it happened maybe he needed to experience it and the reason I said, thank God it happened and he came back safely is because he was by himself. He was by himself. He could only think for himself, only himself only. Okay, to safety, God was guiding him, turn left, turn right, stop, go, hide behind this, hide behind that. You know, the things you see on movies where someone in your ear is telling you or is looking at a, a, a map and telling you when to go, when to stop. That's what I saw and that's what I felt at that time. 
he was by himself. Now that he experienced it by himself, he knows that he cannot be able to do that when his family is there. This is why I said, thank God, he was by himself. Not that I'm happy it happened, but heavy needed to see it. Let the blind see. This is it. He went through it. He knows it's not safe. If he was with Megan or his family, he had other people to think of for, safe, for their safety. Okay? When you're running with somebody, it usually, you know, in the movie, somebody's running. Someone had to fall or something like that. You stop. You have to help the person. This time, no. If Harry fell, he had only himself to pick up and go again. He doesn't have to worry about somebody else. That was the reason why I said, thank God he was by himself. Okay? Our prayers were guiding him. Whichever way the universe worked with our prayers, it was working for him at that time. Okay? So now, whatever blindness he, or assumption that he had, he wasn't sure if it was true or whatever. Now that he went through it, he experienced it. My family is not safe. My family is not safe. I will not be able to do that when my family is around. So this is that. Okay. Look at for the Jubilee. They asked him to come. You know, he, he went, he did his thing and he, he got out. Okay. It's not safe for him over there and his family. All right. So that was that. I have more to share, but I'm going to stop this video here. Let's do a prayer for let the blind see. All right. Because more uh, prayer. Let, let me add one more to it. Let our spirit, uh, spirit, see the truth, maybe? See the truth of our, I'm adding some more of our surroundings, okay? So let's see what happened here. Pray to let your spirit see the truth of our surrounding, okay? Let's see here. Daily prayer. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives with you. And, quote, when the spirit or truth comes, he will guide you to all truth. Okay. Let's do an image. There's, okay. That was that image. Let's do this one. A prayer for anxiety. Fortify me with the grace of your Holy Spirit and give your peace to my soul that I may be free from all needless anxiety, solicitude, and worry. Help me to desire always that which is pleasing and acceptable to you so that your will may be my will. Okay. Whatever God wants, that's for him. All right. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to do another video. I have so much to share. All right. This is my back end. So I'm going to stop here. I'm probably not going to edit this until sometime next week because we're going away today. But I want to get some of those tweets out because usually when I come back from vacation, there's completely new stories going on and I don't feel like going back to some old tweet. So I'm just going to record it. Whenever I get a chance to edit, I'll edit. All right. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to help support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. Uh, you could become a member or just watch the commercials. All right. And new subscribers, welcome. All right.